The new glue glue glue. This is Oluto Mole Agbaye, the Another Comforter Gospel Ministry, proclaiming message of the new glory of God on earth, myth, the truth, and the light, bringer of our time. King Oluto Mole Agbaye, the Another Comforter, whom Jesus Christ has promised and sent by the Father, for the work of the restoration of all things according to the scriptures written and to prepare the way for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 3 verse 20 to 21. Happy view. I am all in throne and celebration 2018 is come again. We joyfully invite the general public and distinguished community leaders, church and religious leaders and all of us of God's new glory. Into this year's God's throne with men propagation, titled, And God shall wipe away all tears, Revelation 21 verse 4. This is the ideal message of peace, harmony, and of divine comfort unto all men. Therefore be there and be a partaker, the light bringer, King Olutomole, the another comforter. We will be shedding ultimate light on the subject matter, venue, our God reigner center, 112 Egbeda Akonwajo Road, Vulcanizer Basta, Akonwajo, Lagos. Day, May 1st, 2018. Time, 10 a.m. prompt. Be there. Welcome to all my viewers out there. In the name of God, Olotomole, I welcome you. Tomole, I keep a boy. I am Olotomole Agbaye, the another comforter sent. As promised in the scriptures by the Lord Jesus Christ, that I will pray the Father and will send you another comforter who will abide with you. For a much longer time than Jesus Christ was. Oh, look, some only are buying here. Oh, look, they are here. And you see, just so what the little baby, me, oh, Baba, you have to know to numero see you buy, you buy petty. My message today borders on sin and judgment and righteousness of God. Sin, judgment, and righteousness of God. I'm sent to preach the gospel of the end time salvation unto my generation. I don't want to know. Lati wa kede irere joba ibalike yi fu iroti awa nure yi. I'm taking my text from the book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 22. Akori we mo cha o si ma lu fi pastor lo ni je ti awon lati we Isaiah ori karun dini adota esekeji le ni ogun. I read from here. Turn unto me. All years of the earth, and I will save you, for I am God, there's none else. Oka by we be caught to see me, Kiasi Bella, Bo Bo, Queen Ade, Tori, Emilio Lorum, Cosicello Miron. 
Turn unto me all ye ends of the earth, and I will save you, for I am God. There's no other God. How you see me, book book, will I ye? A music by a la, little could see a lumino, lay him your laurel. Friends and brethren, a yarat your eh? All ye natures of the earth, book book, will I ye? Hear the word of God. It is God promising. It is God calling the whole end of the earth now. Oluwa promising lo, to save mightily all the ends of the earth. Oluwa lo nke tata to sin pe gbogbo orile ede eniyan. To sin pinu wi pe ohun fe gba gbogbo orile ede la, o sin ke totan. This is the clear call of God. The most high God unto all ends of the earth into his own salvation his full body and soul salvation we talk about full body and soul salvation oh won pe olorun to jagere ni to lo si gbogbo orile ede aye gbogbo pin aye sinu igbala ara ati emi a so nipa ikun re igbala olorun to lo an gbogbo eniyan sinu re yeah again god says i am god there is none else oluwa ni emi ni olorun ko si si elomiran leyin mi this is a clear indication that the entire world is under slavery is in slavery the world is in slavery that's why god is now calling people out from slavery into his own salvation and indeed the entire human race is in slavery under the throne and power of the wicked one. Under the power and prince of this world. Christ says, Satan is the prince of this world. Now, when you look around, and in all the world, you see how Lucifer, Satan, has been perpetrating evil, wickedness, cruelty, and great atrocities upon the human race. There's nobody to save government or religion. Nobody to save. The Christians in the early age of Christianity, they are found that, yes, we know we are from God. We know we pray, we, we know we praise God, we worship God, but the whole world lies in the power of the wicked world, tormenting the world. With all these our religious practices, this is unfortunate. When we go back to the Bible according to First John chapter five nineteen. Say we know we are we are from God. We call God God God, but the whole world in which we are lies in the power. Of this wicked one. Do not anyone want to deliver us from this great mess. I went your memo, Nig Berepepe, Shell, Shell, Christiani, Nig Bani, one kid in a week pay, I might pay alone on the jet, your lawn in a jet, but the jet by jet, your lawn, she will buy a parapata, no bella bag by any buruni. Now, this is the case, Ross, that the whole world, the woman race, has need of great salvation. It is one thing there to be saved. I want to emphasize the human race needed to be saved. And the, the, the world needed to be saved and to be saved urgently before man annihilates itself. So the word salvation belongs to God. This in fact that the truth of the salvation of all the ends of the earth is not going to be by any military superpower nation. 
or by any worldly religion. Because today everybody is looking on uh, uh, USA. Everybody is just looking on to run into USA. The salvation, the US super, uh, military superpower nation can never bring salvation to this world. Oye gudo ye wa ta ba nso ni ti igbala Olorun to lo so e pe koju si bi mi o gba yin la ki se igbala irufe ti awon orilede ologun alagbara nla ti won ton le fi fun ni ko le ti ko le ti pa se won wa sori le aye nitori pe igbala yo je ti Olorun ko ju to ni ni kawo re ni pa se re de ni igbala ife le dori laye o se ni so we about we come supremely by the god that sits upon his throne and kingdom which rules over all things. Igbala ti an so fun ni pare yi o je yi to le ti odo Olorun ko soso wa Olorun to joko sori ti e ogo re to si joba lori on gbogbo lori laye. The God who in his magnanimity has now descended that same throne of glory upon the world upon the earth to save and to deliver mankind from the grip of the wicked one. An so ni ti Olorun Ninu agbara re ninu agbara nla re to ti so ite ati joba e kale sori laye lati gba gbogbo olukuluku e de ni ola ko lo labi agbara ni buburu ni lori laye especially when you come to remember that this dragon we are talking about the prince of this world that is holding the entire human race captive he himself has a throne Satan himself has a kingdom with great authority I want you to go back to Revelation chapter 13, verse 2, and see the misery about the mystery of God's throne on earth, which we are talking about. Oh, yeah. Satan himself has a throne. And if you want to be delivered from the power of the throne of the devil, then you need the throne of God to descend from heaven to terminate the demonic throne of the devil and save the human soul. I read from Revelation 13 verse 2 with you. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard and his feet were as the feet of a bear and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave the beast his power, his throne and great authority. Ese re si dabiti biari enu re si dabiti kini o dragon ina si fully agbara re ati itere ati olanla now i want to ask you a question is this this your religious and traditional prayer that can topple satan that has a throne on earth no now for the salvation of man and the whole earth it demands and requires that the heavenly throne of god have to descend Upon this planet, that just for one purpose to, to bring judgment upon Satan the devil and to cast away the peace of this world. Now, the salvation which I am preaching, talking about, is not the salvation from sin or salvation from sickness or salvation from uh, you know, uh, this weaker spirit, uh, that is from all these unclean spirits that trouble people. No. We are talking about wholesome salvation of God. Praise the Lord. Our God. Igbala ti an son ni pare ki se igbala ko ni nu aison, ki se igbala ko ni nu ipo awon emi buburu ton ji ayo aye awon eniyan lenu. Sugbon an son ni ti ekun rere igbala Olorun agbara igbala Olorun lati igbala ko lo wa be agbara eni buburu ni. I want to give you a pattern of God's salvation. God has done it before. When the children of Israel were in slavery, for 430 years they were suffering. God has said, He sent Moses, according to chapter Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. I read from here. God said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. And I have heard their cry by reason of their taskmaster, and I know their sorrow. God says unto Moses, There are four things we want to consider here. He says, I have seen their affliction. Say that. I have seen their affliction. I have heard their cry. I have heard their cry. 
I have seen their suffering. I know their sorrow. This indicates to, to you that there is nothing that God does not know about the situ situation of things in the world all over. I don't call he knows the suffering of people going on everywhere in the world. He hears his, their cry. He knows the affliction. He knows the sorrow of people. Right now, as I speak, all my viewers are out there. Let God of heaven deliver you from the soul tonight. Amen. This deliverance is not just the conventional deliverance we talk about. I want you to listen to me. Now, this is the situation in which the children of Israel were in Egypt. Now, God has seen their problem. What did God do? He says, because of their taskmaster, there are people that brought problem upon them into their lives. So, what did God do? Oluwa so wi pe ki lo Oluwa wa fe se si oro awon mo Israeli iponju won ibanu je won ki lo oro ki lo to Oluwa so kan lati wa se oun la fe yara wo bayi. Verse 8 God says, I have come down to deliver them out from the land of Egypt number 1 and to bring them out of that land into a good and broad land. God will deliver you from your captivity. Yeah. Lift you up from there. Yeah. And lift you up to another land of pleasure. Amen. Yeah. Now, here, listen. God did, the God commanded Noah, go and bring my people out of their, of their sorrow, I mean, suffering and sorrow and affliction. You see, God did not ask Moses to go and pray for them in their place of affliction. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. God says, no, Moses should go and bring them out. I'm talking about pattern, God's pattern of salvation. He will not keep you where the enemy has tied you down. Perpetually. Now, listen. God did not say Moses should go with relief packages or go with truck of food stuff, rice, bread, milk. To go and cushion the effect of their affliction. No, God did not send them, send Noah and Mo Moses. All right? But he said, Go and bring my people out. Number one, not that, the, not that the people were hungry, they had enough food to eat, they have enough to drink. But the problem they had, they were eating their meal with tears. They were eating their food with tears. Huh. God is going to wipe tears today. Yeah. By the power of the throne of God, let all tears be wiped away. Yeah. This is the pattern of God's salvation. Oluwa ko ran Mose lati lo ko nje fun awon mo Israel ninu okweru ninu isinrin ti won wa ko ran ko ran Mose lati lo ma fun won ni isura abi ohun to ma tun won ra ko ninu oponju abi isinrin ti won wa o so to re pe da kokko oye gbudo ye yi pe awon mo Israel ki nse pe ebi npa won ninu isinrin ni ile Egypt ni sugbon ohun to sele ni pe o nje ti won nje losun ati ni oru omi je ni won fi je nje won mo ni iwe mo so pe won fi omi je je won je won loni oluwa yo nu gbogbo omi je re nu kuro gbogbo gbogbo banu je aye re agbara ti ago yo mu kuro loni when you come under god's throne nigba so ba wa sabe ti ago olorun god will wipe away all tears all sorrow every affliction will not touch you because you are under god's throne I'm teaching you about the pattern of God's salvation, real salvation. 
Lord, all this, uh, I know I am a I am an harlot. I'm a prostitute. But God has saved me from my sin. And you are a prostitute. Can you show you are going to die there now. Can you show you are going to hell. Yes. Now, listen to the type of salvation we are talking about. Moses was sent to gather the children of Israel from the reign of terror of King Pharaoh. And was commanded to bring them in mass under the throne and reign of the kingdom of heaven on earth. Listen to this. See, they were brought under the pillar of cloud which I've explained earlier that it is the dwelling of God in the midst of the people. God's dwelling is known as the pillar of cloud, Shekinah glory. You see? Now today, people are saved. They say they are saved, but they are still within the reach of the enemy. So the pattern of God's salvation is not so. Moses had to deliver them in mass from under the throne and the power of the wicked one, that is Kepharaoh now, into under the pillar of God's throne, that is the dwelling of God. Yep. So also, at this end time, it behooves God to gather all, to gather all kinds, all kinds, yes. to gather everyone from the rich of the place of this world, that is Satan devil, together huh, uh, from the power and dominion of Lucifer, to gather them out and bring them under the supreme power of God's throne of his kingdom on earth. Oh. Asoliti agbara agbara nla ito lo wa fi fa omo Israeli nitori pe ni pase Mose Oluwa ko awon omo Israeli kuro ninu ko labe labe ite Pharaoh ti o pon won loju to nse won ni se o si ko won lo si abe Shekina glory asoliti owo somo ninu agiju ba e kan na laye loni Oluwa shetan lati gba gbogbo orukuruku awon omo ijobo Olorun la ni bi gbogbo lori gbeyin agbaye lati gba oko la be ite satani ite dragon eni buburu ni lati ba o si abe ite ogbo Olorun o ja so ni pe keke bi Mose koko nje lo ba awon omo Israeli bi pe bi gba bi o ti e pa won na ti pe won je won bo ton fun mi ti je won igbara to Olorun na so fun to go by low and I beg by Bruni. You go and you want, yeah, beg, tell go. The whole world lies under the power of the wicked one, but you are by that throne of God. I go on a motive to be a baller, like a father, but a song will buy you by. Yes. 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 Pillar of clouds or one no, be told on one. So Ben and Naro and Mutual Molla by ye. But when you can't talk back, Bonu me. I go call Jagger Crawler back when we put into body so I take your back and say, Yeah, that so I take your back and say, You would have a bow, you see. So in your you are euphoria. This is uh, a joy. Okay. Oh, oh, this is our triumph. Oh, your one, oh, we shall go on. And in Gagabi, just as God sent Moses to deliver the children of Israel from slavery, from the tyrannic rule of King Pharaoh into the Shekinah glory, God has also sent Olu Tomolak by it with the power of God's holy throne to deliver all children of the kingdom worldwide from the tyrannic rule and throne of Satan the devil into the, in the, into the reign and the throne of the Most High God delivered unto Utomole. This is the power of God's salvation we're talking about today. The 
the full rainbow side is God's power. The full rainbow side is God's throne. The full rainbow side is God's power, which is pragmatically designed or intended to protect, to deliver everyone that comes under God's throne, under that strain, from all calamities, from disasters, from sudden destructions, oh, from the power of that evil world, Amen. which is now dominating the whole world. You are no longer under, under the power of the devil. Our God reign it. I'm your shima yeto taribiti. Oje ite olon rori laye. I'm your shima yeto taribiti. Oje ogo olon rori laye. I'm your shima yeto taribiti. Ito lo afin ho. Oje agbara agbara la olon rori laye. Lati gba oboru kulu kwa unwe ni yola. Kro la be agbara ati shakoso satani ati te satani. Sinu gba la la olon rum anu bogo bantu agba rere ijo ba agba la. Ito asi wasabi ite no. Ki wamre bo kulu abara abe agbara ni buburu ni. Koma bali ni kalu ni. To deliver the Alex and. To, de to destroy everyone that still remains under the throne and power of that beast, the place of this world. Yes, may you not be contempt with the world. Amen. And as I tell you, Kale, Lati Gba, Uboru Kulu Kwa Mwa Iqba La, Ti Ogbo Ire, Ti Osi Wasinu, Abete, No, Lati Gba, Wala, at the last shade, that job Borukulu Kwanwo, two or three, fear and see a bear shall go so satani any buburuni. She back by ladu alone, we are the power of the Lord. Ah well, you have been listening to the voice of another comforter. Oh, we listen to you, Mr. Letting God at your. And the call of God say, "Turn unto me, O ye angels of the earth, that shall deliver you." Return to God. E para si o do Lord, o ne ko. There lies. Your salvation. The end time has come. And judgment has been determined upon this world. Amen. 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 I say, come out now. Hey, Lord, Lord, as you are listening to my voice, hearing the voice of the Comforter. He's God calling you out now, like I said in the book of Isaiah. Turn unto me. Yes, God sent Moses to go and deliver them. I've been sent to save as many that obey my voice and come and die. And abide in the established kingdom of heaven and us. Be as you almost say, some Israel be no longer rule. So we like by letting go, we go long go go around when you turn back by really not go. Turn back to what see I bet you go letting go one la. When you come, you are coming to God's throne. Do about one only on what see I bet you go long. Blessing and salvation will multiply to you. I am Holy Throne Anno Celebration 2018 is come again. We joyfully invite the general public and distinguished community leaders church and religious leaders and all lovers of God's new glory into this year's God's throne with men propagation titled and God shall wipe away all tears Revelation 21 verse 4 this is the ideal message of peace harmony and of divine comfort unto all men therefore be there and be a partaker the light bringer King Olutomole the another comforter we will be shedding ultimate light on the subject matter. Venue, our God Reigners Center, 112 Egbeda Akonwajo Road, Volcanizer Basta, Akonwajo, Lagos. Day, May 1st, 2018. Time, 10 a.m. prompt. Be there.